Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at another mini ratchet. Uh, I've been looking for, actually I ended up purchasing about six or seven different mini ratchets to try to get a feel for which one I would like that would uh, work well as, a, as an EDC ratchet. Now this is one of the very few that I've actually found that's actually manufactured in the United States. So this one is manufactured in Durham, Connecticut. Uh, they claim that it is uh, all made here in the USA with all USA materials as well. So let's talk about the specs on this little guy first. So overall, the weight on this is really, really good weight at 1.6 ounces. So it's very lightweight. Now the overall length is three and three quarters of an inch. So it's gonna be just a little bit shorter than what you're gonna have in your Leatherman Charge or Wave Series. Uh, the overall width here is about five eighths of an inch and the overall thickness is about three eighths of an inch. Now this is a 20 tooth or 18 degree arc swing ratchet. So the benefit to that, well, actually, let's talk about the downside. The downside is that if you're working in tight quarters with a little ratchet and you need a, a, a little shorter arc swing, so the, the 18 degree arc swing is not really gonna benefit you that much because it takes so much more to get that first click on there. You know, you have 18 degrees, so it's not bad, but it could be better. Now, the benefit to having a smaller tooth version of a ratchet like that is that it's going to be theoretically it's going to be stronger uh, i haven't had a chance to use this one that much but from what the little use i have used it it seems to hold up quite well so the, again the benefit is going to be that because it has a smaller pattern tooth design or or a smaller number tooth design uh, it's going to be a little bit more robust on the teeth of the ratchet mechanism thereby allowing it to be a little bit stronger. Much like when you have a, a, a six point impact socket as compared to a 12 point socket, obviously the benefit to the impact socket is in a six point is that it's gonna be stronger. Where in a regular socket, the benefit is that you can get it on to, you know, it, it just has a, a shorter swing or arc swing as well. So the trade off is usability for strength is what I'm getting at. Now, this one works with Chapman Manufacturing's proprietary bits. So not really proprietary. All they are is just ball detented bits. So they sell this one. Now, this particular one costs about $13. You can get some kits that include those bits that are going to run somewhere between $25 and $31. I saw about three or four different kits, which I'll leave links to those below as well. So you can get this ratchet plus a bit kit from from Chapman for about $25 more or less. Now they do have a larger kit as well that is actually gonna include some extensions for this and a screwdriver as well as a 30 piece bit kit. Now I've been thinking about picking one of those up because what that allows you to do is the extensions in those kits are actually hex extensions which allow you to use this ratchet in combination with the driver head that they have or the screwdriver portion in order to get uh, downward force with the palm of your hand on the screwdriver, but get directional force using the ratchet. So it, it really works well in tandem with one another. Now, the, the downside to this pass-through design is that it's not gonna work well with your little standard bits. This is just a little standard DeWalt, and you can see because there's no retention here, it just slips right through. So it still can be used with these. The, the problem is, is you gotta have your thumb held up here, so it's a little more cumbersome. Now, if you use it in combination with their bits or with just, I have just a regular uh, ball detent bit here, you can slip the ball detent in there and the ball detent will then give you the friction that necessary in order to hold those bits in. Uh, so it makes it, 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 it holds in decent enough. I almost would prefer that it wasn't that style. I almost prefer that it was uh, just had a switch instead of being this pass-through design. I think it would make it a little bit better, but it is workable. Now, one of the great benefits to this particular ratchet is that because of all these smooth edges on here, this is a really great pocketable model. You can actually carry this in your pocket without jabbing yourself in the thigh all day long. Uh, it's very smooth to carry. Now, for carrying it in a, in a multi-tool case, about the only ones that I really have are going to be the Leatherman cases. Uh, there are a couple of Victorinox cases where this would probably fit in there if you remove their, their style of ratchet. Uh, but for the most part, it's going to be in Leatherman cases. Now, 
This one in particular that I have here is the larger case. It's going to be for your Leatherman Surge uh, Super Tool 300. On the smaller elastic side, it fits in there incredibly snugly and very securely. On the larger side, it's a little bit too small. Uh, it tends to, it, it'll hold in there but new, but this elastic is obviously going to expand over time. It's going to weaken a little bit, and I'm, I just don't think it would hold up well. Now, if you ended up wrapping this with some tape or, or something of that nature to, to thicken the body of this ratchet up a little bit, uh, I think it would hold in there very, very well. As it is brand new, it'll still hold in there. I just feel like over time, it, it will eventually just be able to pass right through there and won't hold in there very well. So again, this is the Chapman Manufacturing mini ratchet this is model number cm13 it runs 13 dollars on amazon which i'll leave links for this one for the ratchet itself also for the ratchet plus the, the bit kits the the ones that we talked about earlier and then the larger kit as well i really love the fact that this is usa made it's one of the biggest uh biggest benefits for me also the fact that it's very smooth contoured ratchet it's very pocketable you can actually carry this in your pocket without any real discomfort that's something that i like um number of things that that i do like about it i wish though that it would work better with your standard quarter inch bits well this has been a look at the chapman manufacturing mini ratchet cm13 i appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next one